What's up guys and gals? Today we're gonna do a review of the stocks I'm holding in my little universe and man what an awesome day it was. So you see in front of you there on the screen you got ARLP in the left. We're gonna talk about that stock. Oh my goodness what a day on ARLP. In the middle you see their VTGN. I mentioned it last night that this stock had a good chance of going up. We're gonna talk about that stock as well. And then the far right got ZOM and we'll cover and review that as well. If you didn't see yesterday's video or last night's video about me talking about these stocks for today's trade, then look in the link, the description uh, in this video, you'll see a link for, for last night's video about how I talked about these stocks for, for trading on Wednesday. Okay? So we are talking about reviewing June 9th, 2021. What a smoking hot day. This market is so ripping right now. It's amazing. Okay, so let's take a look at, first of all, a R L P. Look at this stock. Oh my goodness. I'm serious. If you guys didn't watch last night's video, you need to go back and watch it. I talk about, talked about last night. Look at the triangle in the middle of the screen. This is a A R L P in the um, oil and coal sector. Okay, this is a smoking hot sub sector. Okay. Alliance Resource Partners. I talked about this last night. Look at that triangle in the middle of the screen. Remember I said in last night's video that this triangle was starting to pinch and based on the, the way the pricing came into the triangle, these typically break to the upside. That's right. Go back and listen to the video. I did say last night that this would break to the upside. Did I think it was going to break to the upside this quick? Well, maybe, maybe not. But look what it did. Holy smokes. Look at that breakout. Up 65 cents today, almost up 10%. What a day. Had a range of 65 cents, uh, 70 cents, sorry. Total range of 70 cents, closed at $7.20. The high of the day was $7.30. Massive breakout. Massive breakout. You can see there on the right, I am up nearly $5,000 on this stock. Oh yeah, today's volume was about a one point, let's call it 1.6-ish million shares. Yeah, big breakout, money flowing into this stock. So this thing is a ripper, an absolute ripper. Yesterday I said this thing, I said, I don't, if it gets above 655, which it did yesterday, and if it got above, I think I said 668 was the previous high for the year. I said if it gets above that, I don't see anything holding it back going up to seven dollars. Well, it blew right past seven dollars like it was standing still. Now this could pull back tomorrow or go up even more. But I'm gonna tell you right now, I talked about an impulse, and sure enough, this is a massive impulse. Even if this stock pulls back, which it will at some point, the likelihood of it pulling back. To below 650, eh, maybe, it might, it could, but I don't think it's gonna pull back much below 650. In other words, you're gonna see, you're gonna see these kind of impulses with this stock. It's gonna have massive breakouts, spend some time in the in the new breakout zone, kind of going up and down, um, maybe pull back for a little while, do stuff like that, and then there's gonna come a point where it's gonna do what? It's gonna break out again. Okay, this thing's gonna break out all the way up to like 20 bucks. At least fifteen, eighteen, twenty dollars. It's just going to keep on doing it. That may take a, a few weeks, few days, few weeks, few months, whatever. It's going to happen. That's what my instincts tell me about this. This stock is a ripper, man. I told you, and I said things are a ripper. All right. Wow. So this is one. Of, this is my only really long-term hold. ARLP. For those of you that got in on this stock and, and, and heard my video last night and got in this morning, good for you. Great decision. Okay, let's take a look at VTGN. I also talked about this last night and I had traded this the other day, made about $260 on this uh, stock uh, yesterday. I said there was a good chance this stock could go up again today. Well, look at that. Up 3.7%, up 10 cents. That's a big move, guys, for a stock that's $2.80, okay? That's a big move. I said it might pull back, but in the morning, I look at the price action. Well, sure enough, look at this bad boy. Another ripper. Oh, my goodness. Now, this stock um, up four days in a row. 
So just historically, it could continue to go up. There's a little bit of room left in this momentum for it to do it. I could see it continue to go up for another day or two, but it might pull back in the morning. And again, it might not. Still got some room to go here in a moment. I'm, this one is in the biomedic, biomedical um, sector, which is, if you've been listening to my videos previously, which by the way, while you're down there reviewing the, the link from yesterday's video, go ahead and click that subscribe button and make sure you click the notification bell so you can get the videos, okay? Because you want to be watching these videos, right? Especially after you've seen what happened with what I talked about last night and see what happened today, right? And make sure you give me a little thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Helps out the YouTube channel. So this stock, VTGN, is in the biomedical uh, sector, a sector that's been kind of uh, scared money has left and money's starting to flow back in. A little aggressive to get into this sector kind of early, but I think it was a good move, particularly on this stock because it was just so poised to make good profits. Okay. This traded 2.4 million shares today. Up 3.7%. What a ripper stock this is, too. These two stocks today were just perfect calls. Absolute ripped. I'm just... This, this market right now is just, just absolutely amazing. Amazing. Now, just real quick, real briefly, I just want to take a quick look. Uh, oil, uh, crude oil is still sitting just below $70. It actually yesterday hit a high of $70.62. Still sitting right at there. Crude oil is probably going to just have a huge, huge breakout throughout the summer. Continue to probably go up uh, on the average. The S&P 500 futures... Today, let's see. Ah, where did they close today? Because I'm looking at the futures contracts. They trade 24 7 practically. The close was 4222. So just below the all time high. SP 500 still looking very strong. Steel and iron ore slightly down for the day. And the corn. Grain down a buck fifty. So those are kind of my uh, inflation watch. Those those I just mentioned: crude oil, S and P five hundred futures, the XME um, um, ETF, which is steel and iron ore, and I watch the corn futures, okay, or commodity. That is my kind of my uh, measuring stick for what's going on with inflation. And you can see all the prices are ripping. If you were to look at things like lumber and other things, you'd find out that they're confirming inflation. Okay. But if you're poised properly, guys and gals, you can make money even during inflation. Okay. And that's why you see me putting out these videos talking about stocks like ARLP, a coal stock, and VTGN, which is biomedical stock. Okay. I'll try to put out a video later on tonight, maybe, if I do some due diligence and see if there's anything else. But for the moment, I would say VTGN still looking really good. It's got some momentum left in it. Um, maybe taper off on the size of the position simply because it's kind of momentum's kind of getting up there now. So uh, we'll see in the morning. Does it pull back? Does it go up? Hmm, huh, hmm, huh? What a day for VTGN. And what can I say about ARLP? I'm going to tell you, some, tell you something all right now as I get ready to close up this video. It's still a good time to buy shares on this stock. It's still. Because that thing is going to go above $10, $15, $18, 20 $25. Okay. It's still a good time to buy shares on this stock. It's not too late. Okay, a lot of people get nervous. Oh, I missed it. I missed it. I missed it. You know, this is called fear of missing out. You'll hear that in some popular traders. Big time traders talk about that. FOMO. Okay. Well, don't have any FOMO. Jump in on this stock because this stock's going to rip. It's going to continue to rip. Okay. It's a buy and hold. Trust me. That's why you see me with a decent sized position, 5,000 shares. Okay. So listen, I hope you really enjoyed the video. And um, don't forget the roster video in the description below so you can see uh, my last night's video about how I talked about these stocks. And, you know, I don't want to say I. That I'm some type of uh, exceed the future profit profit a guy or anything, but man, did I make the calls on these two stocks? Oh my gosh, big money today! 
Hope you enjoyed the video. Talk to you all again soon next time.